The House of Commons committee studying food prices has a warning for two grocery giants. In a letter to executives at Loblaw and Walmart, the committee demands they sign a voluntary grocery code of conduct. Now, if they don't, the code could become mandatory. CBC's Albert Delatella joins us now with the details. So, Albert, tell us more about this. So, Linda, this, of course, follows months and years of uh, growing concerns about food inflation and just how much it costs people to put meals on the table. So that letter, it comes from the House Committee, the House Standing Committee on Agriculture and Agri-Food. And, they, and in it, they tell uh, executives at Loblaw and Walmart Canada that implementing that grocery code of conduct is essential to the issues facing the industry. Uh, this is the committee studying food prices, and they say that if uh, those companies don't sign that voluntary code, Code, that it could become mandatory, it could become the law. So just to get into uh, what the code is, it seeks to create a set of uh, rules for fair dealing and negotiations between grocers and suppliers. And the stated objectives are what you see there on your screen to enable the, uh, a thriving industry, to promote trust, fair dealing, and collaboration throughout the value chain, increase commercial certainty, establish effective, equitable uh, uh, dispute resolution, and recognize the unique needs of all stakeholders holders in the grocery value chain. Uh, proponents uh, of that code, they say that it levels the playing field between smaller grocery players and suppliers, and they believe that players like Loblaw and Walmart, that they simply have too much power when it comes to uh, those negotiations. Uh, the, those companies I mentioned, they say that they will not sign the code as it is right now. And a big reason uh, that they give for that, that they've given over the past year or so, is, is that it could lead to higher prices for Canadians. That's one of the reasons that the heads of uh, Sobey's parent empire and uh, Loblaw, that they, that they said that uh, they would not sign the code as of right now. Here's more from that exchange back in March. I think we can get everyone signed up, and I think we need the, the help of the government to be able to do so. Mr. Weston? Yes. Um, uh, so the code of conduct um, will can be a very positive, uh, you know, part of uh, of the industry, but it has to be um, developed in a in a fair and uh, and balanced way. Metro did say back in December that they would be willing to sign that code of conduct if other major players are, are, are willing to sign it as well. They say that it just, just simply isn't effective. Otherwise, uh, we have reached out to uh, Loblaws and uh, to uh, Walmart, and we have heard from Walmart on this. I'll read you a bit of their statement. They said that they are supportive of initiatives that promote fairness and reciprocity, they say, on suppliers and retailers, and that, that, and that are ultimately in the best interest of consumers. And they go on to say that uh, to while we are well, we have significant concerns about the code in its current form. We will continue to work constructively with the industry on this topic. Uh, we haven't heard back from Loblaw yet on this, but they have expressed uh, similar sentiments uh, to the Canadian press about where, where they stand. Uh, so whether uh, this may become mandatory, whether that will, will be necessary, remains to be seen. Linda. Thanks, Albert. CBC's Albert Della Tala.